hello in this example uh, it's asking considering the case of a parallel plate capacitor being charged show how one is required to generalize ampere circuital law to include the term due to the displacement current so there, there's a direct question that is uh, asking us about the modified ampere circuital law and this we should know that it was um, uh, done by maxwell so maxwell had modified it for a case that we'll discuss now so in this case as uh, we are talking about charging uh, a capacitor so we consider the charging of a capacitor so this is these are the plates of the capacitor and we cre uh, we have a loop over here and we assume that the charge on the capacitor is plus q and minus q and this is changing with time and the area of the capacitor is a so let's write the electric uh, the electric field between the plates of the capacitor if it has an area and total charge of Q. So we can write the electric field as E is equals to Q upon A epsilon naught. Now, once we have written this, we know that the field is perpendicular to the surface S. Now, because uh, the surface S is uh, the loop, like the field lines are passing through the loop. So we, we know that there is, according to the uh, Gauss law, we can uh, state the electric uh, flux passing through that surface so we can just write the electric flux is equals to the electric field into the area A so we can write this as QA we already know the electric field we can write it as QA upon A epsilon naught so we see that here a and A gets cancelled so the value of phi that we get is equals to Q upon epsilon naught. Now we already know that the charge Q on the capacitor is changing with time so that means if charge is changing with time that means there is a current with respect to time. So we can write for the same thing we can write I is equals to dQ by dt. Now in order to have a term of dQ by dt on this side we can differentiate both with respect to time in this equation for example if we differentiate the flux with respect to time we'll get this will, e will be equal to dq by dt to 1 by epsilon naught and now we know that this is the current so we we can easily write we can easily easy, easily write that i is equals to differentiation of the flux with respect to time into epsilon naught from the previous equation as we know that dq by dt is the current so now this is this is the current that this is the current term that we have just defined so this term is the current due to the changing electric field and this is termed as displacement current so the very very important term this is called the displacement current So therefore, as we knew that this was the ampere circuital law. Now, the modification that we will do is as simple as it is, we can just modify it saying that integral of BDL should be equal to mu naught into IC plus mu naught epsilon naught d phi e by dt so this is the term that we have added to uh, to the to the ampere circuit law which is the displacement current uh, uh, that we have added so this this will be the answer to our question